Right here in this big, beautiful box is the new, just released, KG915G handheld transceiver from Waxon. This new model is just like the classic and very popular KG905G Plus handheld transceiver, but with one very significant difference. And I will explain that difference in just a moment. So be sure to watch to the very end and don't forget to like, subscribe, comment, and click the bell so you don't miss any of my videos. The price for the new Waxon KG915G is 129 US dollars. And for your convenience, I have placed an affiliate link in the information section right down there underneath where you're watching the video. And yes, my friends at the Buy 2 Way Radio's website did send me this one at no cost so that I could share it with you, my preferred watching person. When you buy the Waxon KG915G inside the big beautiful box, you will discover a user manual, 95 pages long, and written in perfect English. A belt clip and some small screws to attach the belt clip to the radio. A lanyard for holding the radio. A charging cradle for charging the battery, as well as a plug to plug into the charging cradle. One end goes into the charging cradle, the other end goes into the electrical outlets in your walls. You will get a 2600 milliamp hour battery with a USB-C type port for charging. So you can charge it directly via the USB Type-C charging port, or you can use the previously displayed charging cradle. Now, before I show you the new KG915G, let me take you down memory lane. Back three or four days ago, when I made a video about the new KG905G Plus radio, which is the new upgraded version of the now older KG905G. And now Waxon has also released the KG915G, which is why you're here watching this video. And the new KG915G is exactly the same as the KG905G+. They are identical, with only one minor difference. Can you spot the difference? And no, I'm not talking about the color. Don't be a racist. As you probably already noticed with your eyes, the KG915G has a keypad. And the KG905G Plus does not have a full keypad. Otherwise, for all intents and purposes, other than the keypad, this is a 905G Plus. But because it's a new model, and because you may know nothing about the 905G Plus, of which I just made a video the other day, allow me to very quickly and concisely go over all of the features of this new model, even though they are exactly the same as the KG905G+. Plus. First of all, this is a GMRS radio. This means that it is certified for use on GMRS channels by our friends at the Federal Communications Commission of the United States. So it's legal only for transmitting on GMRS channels. And I should point out that these are rules or regulations governing its use, not laws, and not a mandate. As you probably already know from watching current events going on in this country, a mandate is when two dudes go out to dinner together. Just like the KG905G+, Plus, the KG915G is available in any color you want, as long as the color is black or tan. And just like the KG905G+, Plus, the KG915G is a super heterodyne type radio, unlike many of those inexpensive low quality radios from Cathay, which are lower quality direct conversion type radios, also known as non superheterodyne type receivers. On the top, you'll find a on off and volume control knob, a receive and transmit LED indicator, a channel changing knob, and a hole for the antenna. On the side, you'll find the push to talk button, as well as two programmable buttons. And on this side behind the door, you will find a plug for a standard Kenwood type connector for connecting things like a microphone, 
external speaker or a programming cable. I'll talk about the programming cable more in a minute. On the front, you will find a speaker, a microphone, a full keypad, and a screen. And just like on the KG905G+, Plus, the screen on the KG915G is very easy to see and very easy to read in bright, direct sunlight, and it has large, easy-to-read text. On my video about the KG905G+, Plus, certain individuals left comments making fun of the low-resolution-looking text on the 905G+, Plus, which is the same on this radio, so let me take a second to point something out. The text on this radio and on the 905G+, Plus is large and easy to read, and this is something that is important to average people when using this radio while outside doing interesting things. And if what matters to you is that the lines on the large, easy-to-read letters are jaggy or low-resolution looking, then this radio isn't for you because this radio is intended for people that actually leave their basement and do things outside. Instead of just sitting on the couch all day eating Cheetos and drinking Mountain Dew whilst complaining about stuff on the internet all day. So, as I was saying, the KG915G has an IP66 rating, which makes it very water resistant, so it's fine to use in the rain, the snow, or in very dusty areas, but it is not submersible, so you should not play with it when showering. As I was saying, the screen is very easy to read, even in bright direct sunlight, and the screen colors can be customized. Even though the radio can only transmit on GMRS channels, it can receive and listen to all frequencies from 400 megahertz up to 470 megahertz. And it can also receive commercial FM radio. And it has 400 custom channel slots that you can use to store those frequencies or additional custom repeater pairs. The radio has a scanning feature so it can scan through those channels and it has a favorite channel feature so you can quickly and easily jump to whatever channel you set as your favorite or most often used channel. The radio has a frequency mode, or as us radio gurus call it, VFO mode, so you can directly type a frequency in on the keypad instead of being limited to only using preset channels. The box says that this radio transmits at up to 5 watts, but I'm not going to bother to test the power output because the power output is not the most important factor with regard to how much distance the radio can transmit. And me testing the power on camera just furthers the misconception that the power output is an important factor in distances. The truth is the power output is not the most important factor and whether this radio outputs three and a half watts or five and a half watts, you will not notice any difference. So stop obsessing about the power output of handheld GMRS transceivers because the power is not the most important factor to a point especially when using the radio as intended, which is to stay in contact with your group during outdoor interesting activities. But what does matter is that using this radio, I was able to talk to my friend Conrad, the chef, on his base station radio at his house, 13 miles away, loud and clear. Just like with every single other GMRS handheld transceiver I have ever reviewed and tested, regardless of whether they were outputting 3 watts or 8 watts. This radio also has built-in Bluetooth connectivity for listening to and transmitting on the radio with a Bluetooth headset. The Bluetooth feature is not for programming. And speaking of programming, this radio is not Chirp compatible currently, but you can download the free Waxon software and program the radio that way. But to do that, you will need a programming cable, such as this one, which is not included and costs 15 US dollars. Affiliate link lower down on your screen. Nonetheless, programming the radio is not required to use it. Like all GMRS radios, the 915G comes pre-programmed out of the box with the standard 22 GMRS channels, which are, by the way, fully compatible with FRS radios. So all you have to do is take it out of the box, turn it on, pick a channel, push the talk button, and talk. But should you decide to get fancy, you can program and customize everything right from the keypad no cable or computer is required. Although using a cable and a computer lets you do most everything much faster and easier, assuming that you know how to use a computer. But many people prefer to do it the more intellectual way, directly on the keypad. And yes, like all quality GMRS radios, this radio does have 
a Roger tone. Earlier in the video, I mentioned that I was not going to test the power output of this radio, and upon reflection, I have come to the realization that by not testing the power, certain individuals are going to assume that the radio has a lower than acceptable power output, and they are very likely to leave silly comments heralding that the reason I didn't measure the power output was because the manufacturer told me not to do a power test on camera. So because we know that certain individuals don't have the attention span to watch this far into the video, let's see if they were right or not. And as you can see on GMRS channel 16, the power output is just over four watts, pretty much exactly what we would expect. But as I alluded to earlier, it doesn't really matter. So stop obsessing over power output as though it is the most important factor in choosing a radio because it's not. I warned you that this video would be short and concise. This radio is basically, as I already said, a KG905G Plus with the added keypad. So if you're looking for a good quality super heterodyne type GMRS transceiver, the new Waxon KG915G might just be the radio for you.